Okay, calculus, first derivative test. We're looking for critical values here. And I want to, we're also looking for increasing and decreasing intervals. I just want to make sure that we're clear about what a critical value is. A critical value is where one of two things happen. Either the function uh, has a slope of zero there, or the function is non-differentiable there. That is to say, there's some domain issue. So let's go ahead and try this out a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite f of x so I can look at this better and make it much easier to differentiate. It's the same as x to the negative first power, right? I'm just trading this in. Now I'm just going to use the sum and difference rule. Here, so f prime at x is equal to 2 plus negative, right, negative x to the negative second power. So f prime at x is equal to 2 minus 1 over x squared. So hopefully you can see that, where I got that from. I think what I'm going to do here, just to make this easier to look at, I'm going to, I'm going to multiply this piece right here by x squared over x squared. And get 2x squared minus 1 all over x squared. Just a little bit of algebra to make this thing a little bit easier to see. I'm going to look at this thing here. A couple of things I'm noticing here. One, that we have a critical, so I'm starting to look for these critical values. One critical value that I see is that x squared, this bottom piece, cannot equal 0. So where does it equal 0? It equals at x equals 0. So we have a critical value at x equals 0 is this first one, right? Non-differentiable. The second one we have is when, we, when the denominator, excuse me, when the numerator equals 0. So I'm going to do that little piece of algebra here, that 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 0 x squared equals one-half, right? And we're going to get x is equal to one over square root two. I'm going to just clean this math up a little bit and multiply just like this, square root two. So x is equal to plus or minus square root of two over two. Remember that your professor is not going to want you to have radicals in the denominator, so I just clean that up, right? Rationalize the denominator. And so our other, other critical value is going to be x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. All right? So now I'm going to set up our t we're going to set up our table, and our table should look like this. We should set up test intervals. Some people get kind of confused about these, this idea of test intervals. Let me show you how I set it up. So test intervals, sine of f prime at whatever value we put in there that fits into our interval, and then lastly, our conclusion, right? So here, it might be difficult for you to see how many intervals we have. So this is what I'm going to do. Just going to run to the next page really quick. I'm going to set up the Cartesian plane. And I'm going to draw in lines where we have these critical values. And we have a critical value at x equals negative square root 2. And at x is equal to 0. There's another one right here. And then we have another one at x equals positive square root 2. So just to give you an idea what we have here. So this is negative square root 2 over 2. This is x equals 0, right? We found this is when we have the discontinuity here, right? And then this one is x is equal to square root 2 over 2. So just to see the intervals now so you can see them more clearly, we have one interval that runs from here to here. I'm sorry, from here all the way out. We have another one that's between these two intervals. That's here to here. We have another one that's, I'm just showing them, all I'm looking at is these horizontal places, from here to here. And lastly, we have one that begins here and moves this way. Right, and I could have put these lines anywhere. I'm just showing the, the interval on the x-axis here. So now I'm just going to go in and put, define those intervals, go back to our chart. And the first interval was, right, the first interval was x is greater than negative infinity but less than two square roots of two. The interval in between next to that is x is greater than negative square root 2 over 2. Why did I just do that? Negative square root 2 over 2, right? And this should have been a negative here. Less than square root 2 over 2. 
now we have the other two intervals to go and that's x is greater than 0 but less than square root 2 over 2 and the last one is that interval to the far right hand side which is that x is greater than square root 2 over 2 but less than positive infinity right so we end up with four intervals here and I'm just gonna put in test values I'm not gonna bother you with all the test values but I just want to show you that I would choose some test value in here I would choose some number in here and if I put in some number into the derivative function right into the derivative function I would find that f prime of any value inside this interval would be greater than zero so that would be increasing wouldn't it and if I found some number between these two then I would find that f prime of that value would be less than zero and that's decreasing and I hope this arithmetic is okay with you I just decided not to waste your time on all the arithmetic and then if I chose some number in here then I would surely find that f prime of that value would be less than zero also so decreasing again and then lastly if I look for some number in here I would find that f prime of that value would be greater than zero and would be increasing and this is what your professor is looking for all right look I hope this was really helpful good work this is very very meticulous and monotonous work but it can be done so good work